very much, Toastmaster, and evening. Uh, once again, it's a great pleasure to be here this evening with Toastmasters. Um, it's always fun to uh, see the energy and enthusiasm uh, that this group brings to public speaking. And as usual, I was very impressed with the quality of the English. So it's my role as a language evaluator to identify opportunities for improvement, but please don't think that the overall quality was not very good because it was excellent. And as I usually do, I'd like to begin my presentation by asking for a round of applause for everyone that came up here on the stage this evening. You all did a wonderful job. Okay, but I would not be doing my job if I didn't make some suggestions for improvement, so I have done my best. During the introduction, we heard our president, Phoebe, say that she found something that made her stay here in the Toastmasters Club. And it was a little bit of a cliffhanger. I'm wondering what it was that, that made you decide to stay. So perhaps uh, at the end of the presentation, at the end of the uh, meeting tonight, you can, you can tell us what it was and uh, wrap that up. Also regarding pronunciation, I want to compare two words that sound similar but are different. And those words are spelled, I'll borrow a little bit of space here, A-X, and A S K. Okay, can you tell the difference between the pronunciation of those words? How do you pronounce the first one? Ask and ax. Okay. So if you don't want to ask for help, you want to ask for help. In a, it's A S K instead of ask. Ask for help. Ask. Minor point. And later in the introduction, you said uh, after after class after after class after sorry after the meeting uh, after the meeting we will you you have the second gathering and the speaker said we will gather at anywhere uh, I would I would prefer somewhere if you say we gather anywhere that might mean that some people go to one place <laughs> and uh, nobody knows where everybody else is so since someone is going to make a choice about where you're going to meet I would say. Uh, after the meeting, we meet somewhere. It might be a different place each week, but it's a specific location each time. Our Toastmaster of the evening, Maggie. Where did Maggie go? Very good. Uh, very good job. Uh, you brought energy to the uh, meeting, and you helped to keep things organized. I have one suggestion for you, and it's, it's not specifically related to grammar, but it's more related to the way that you manage the flow of the meeting. As, as the Toastmaster of the meeting, you're kind of guiding the crowd. But there, there were a couple of instances where you said something, for example, uh, let's welcome Vader Chen. And when you say that, the, that, that's a cue to the audience to applaud for Vader and for Vader to come up on the stage. But then after just a beat, you said his topic is, and then you continue on to give his topic, which I, I was just about to start clapping. <laughs> and then, uh, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, and then later, later on, towards the end, you, you asked, would you like to learn how to be a member? And I was just about to say yes. And several other people around me, I think, were also just about to say yes. But then you, you, you continued your speech and said yes. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't mean to pick on you, because you did a very good job in the meeting. But as a general suggestion for people at Toastmasters at the meeting, part of what you, you want to guide the audience so that the audience feels comfortable and they feel like you're in charge and you're telling them what direction things are going to go. But other, other than that, you did a very good job as a Toastmaster at the evening. Okay, uh, for the next part, I'm going to read some phrases and let's see if we can think of a better way of expressing this in English. So our variety session speaker said, I want there are five to ten people in a group. How, how could we express that more concisely? I want five to ten people in a group. Okay, that's a little better. Or even just please form groups of five to ten people. Okay, it's just a more, a little bit more concise way of saying the same thing. Is there anybody don't have partner? Are there Are there any okay, we, we would still say is because the subject is singular. Anybody or anyone is actually singular. So we would still say is. But how about the verb? Is there, is there anybody who has a partner? Yes, is there anyone that doesn't have a partner? Okay, our prepared speeches this evening were also very nice. Vader, where did Vader go? 
Okay, very, very interesting, a very good topic. I had some difficulty understanding you when you were speaking quickly. You, you, used, uh, you were using vocal variety, which was sort of the point of your speech. And so at times you would speak very quickly, and other times you would speak more slowly. Uh, it, it is possible to speak quickly, but still uh, enunciate words so that the audience can understand you. So my, my only suggestion to you would be, if you, if you give this speech again, you can practice speaking quickly, but also <coughs> enunciating each word clearly for the benefit of the audience. Otherwise, very interesting speech. And, oh, I got out of order. I'm sorry. The first first prepared speech speaker was Haruna. Where is she? Okay. Uh, also, a very good prepared speech and a very uh, interesting topic, topic that I'm very interested in. I liked your expression, language makes people and culture. I, I, that's a very uh, pleasant expression, in, in my opinion, in English. My only suggestion for you is at the end of your speech, you said, uh, this is the end of my speech. And thank you, thank you for listening. I, I hope you enjoyed it, or something to that effect. I don't know if that in itself is Kago, but in, in the materials that are provided for Toastmasters, it suggested that the speaker is not, not, certainly not apologize for themselves and not necessarily even thank the audience for listening. It suggested that, that you end on a confident note. Okay, you, you don't need to sort of seem like you're apologizing for yourself or the quality of your speech. You can, you can plan a conclusion that is, that is impactful, and the audience can tell that that's the conclusion, and then you can just say, uh, Toastmaster of the Evening, where I'd like to return control back to the Toastmaster of the Evening. Okay, what do we call a person that is participating in a contest? A contestant. Right, a person participating in a contest is called a contestant. Our table topics presentation was also very nice. I heard one speaker use the word misunderstanding. I was misunderstanding one time in the room. Misunderstood. It would say misunderstood, that's right. And our educational section, Jason, that was a very nice, excellent, thank you, there. Uh, very good, very valuable uh, presentation. I think people can benefit a lot from that. I have a, a few suggestions about the way that you use English. The title of your presentation is Make Good Voice on Stage. And I, I was trying to think about how that might be improved. The only thing that I will say is that the, the literature that comes with Toastmasters talks a lot about a phrase called vocal variety, which is essentially exactly what you were talking about. So you might consider using that phrase either in the title or, or in your presentation. Instead of saying a video played by Meryl Streep, you could say a video featuring Meryl Streep. She wasn't the one present play on the video, she was one of the people that was in the video. And instead of a sincere apologize, you can say a sincere apology. Apologize is a verb, apology is a noun. And you can, instead of saying the most we used, meaning, I think it was the, was it the falling tone? I don't remember. But one, one of the tones was the one you said was used most often, and you can say uh, the one used most often instead of the one instead of the one most we most use. Okay, uh, in the interest of time, I think I'll go ahead and stop here. Again, congratulations to all of you for a wonderful evening, and I will return control to our Toastmaster of the evening. Thank you.